threshold to the detection of passive motion. Here we have the patient in supine and we are making consistent contact points with their hands. The eyes are closed to minimize the amount of sensory feed uh, that is provided other than the uh, apparent information from the passive motion and he is flicking his thumb when he first detects motion in either a flexion extension or a pronation supination. We can use a phone to uh, objectify this uh, using a digital inclinometer uh, or a level app. We are looking for any discrepancy greater than 5 degrees. Joint relocation error. This is a passive test whereby we move a joint, in this case the elbow, to a target position. We're going to hold that for a moment, take him out of that target position, and then start to move him back towards that target position passively. He's going to flick his thumb to indicate we have arrived back at the target position. We will then look for a discrepancy between his perceived target position and the actual target position. Any discrepancy over 5 degrees is going to be clinically relevant. We can do this in flexion extension and then we can uh, do this in pronation supination.